Police say a 26-year-old man from Central Africa is charged with raping a 90-year-old woman here in Dayton, has a criminal history, but yet remains in this country on a visa. So we wanted to know, how can that be? Pam Elliott of 2 News Investigates looks into the status of Jean-Paul Panerwa. Well, Katie and Mark, late today, I found out that U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE for short, put a detainer on him, meaning as soon as the local authorities are done with him, federal officials want to take him into custody. Jean-Paul Panurwa is in the Montgomery County Jail on a half million dollars bond, charged with rape, felonious assault, and kidnapping. The alleged victim, a 90-year-old woman who had been walking along a bike path. Last year, a Panurwa pleaded guilty to a sex charge in Utah, and earlier this year, he pleaded guilty to a disorderly conduct charge out of Riverside. This Montgomery County Municipal Court record indicates Panurwa hasn't paid his fines related to the Riverside case, and it was sent to collections in July. Two News Investigates has confirmed he has family in Riverside, likely why he moved here from Utah. The woman who answered the phone at the address we have for him asked that we call back tomorrow and speak with the man living there. I spoke with the Davis County, Utah prosecutor Rick Westmoreland about Panorwa and found out he's still on probation for that earlier sex conviction. But Westmoreland said Panorwa wouldn't be brought back to Utah because it's a misdemeanor. Westmoreland told 2 News Investigates, Panurwa spent 37 days in jail, but during that time, immigration officials did not put a hold on him. Dayton police say he's been in the U.S. on a student visa for nine years. The only school we are aware of him attending is the Clearfield Job Corps in Utah. Westmoreland says he was kicked out after his conviction there. So why is he still in this country? We asked U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, first the Utah office, then Detroit's, which serves Ohio. And we've been promised a statement. We had hoped to bring you that response by news time, but we've received nothing yet. Now, we will post it online when we get it. We'll keep following the story for you. And the next court date, by the way, for Panurwa is Monday. Pam Elliott, 2 News Investigates.